and welcome back to my channel. That was really extra. Um, basically, today we are having another baking video because it's one of the easiest ones to do. I'm going to be cooking anyway, so we're going to make a coffee and walnut, coffee and walnut cake. Today, um, I might put you higher up. Hello? Hello? We're back, we're better. It's my dad's birthday soon, so I figured, what can I do? It's actually Father's Day today, but they've gone to London. So, I figured, let's make him a cake. <laughs> I've gone for coffee and walnut, because he likes coffee, um, I like coffee and walnut, mum likes coffee and walnut, so that's what we're gonna make. So to start, obviously, obviously. we always grease the pan, and then line it with baking paper. It says to use two, but I'm just gonna use one, and cut it in half, because I can't find two that the same size. Usually when you grease, you grease with like normal butter, but I just use the spritzy one, because it saves so much time. Perfect, it does smell a bit odd, and it's probably out of date, but it greases it lovely. Got my... We're running out of paper. Hopefully it'll fit. Sticky situation. Um, you can work with this. Step one, move this over here. Next. Oh, I didn't heat the oven. We can actually start doing some cooking. Beat the butter, flour, sugar. Wow. Okay, just beat the butter, flour, sugar, baking powder, eggs, vanilla, and half the remaining coffee to a lump free. Straight in that. 250 grams of butter, which is one of these whole things. So, let's actually talk about Life. What's hot on topic? Obviously Love Island. And this Moira girl actually needs to have a break. I'm really excited to watch tonight. I watched the unseen bits and not being funny. Why don't they put the unseen bits in the actual episodes? Like the episodes are getting really boring because it's just, I mean not boring, but it's just drama. Like it's turning to like, I feel like I'm watching a period drama. There's no funny anymore. I want to see romances. I want to see Anna twerking because that girl could twerk. I want to see friendships coming along. Stop whinging. And I want to see the banter. I know it's not their fault because they're actually having fun during the day, but the producers aren't showing it. I just think that's a bit silly of them, really. Elma, I think she's lovely. I think she seems really, like, naturally pretty. I really hope she actually does get on with Anton and, like, likes him a lot because that would be cute because I've grown to Anton a lot. Same with Amber, though. Like, I've actually grown to like Amber quite a lot as well. I think she probably just does need to learn some manners, but her and Michael. Michael was one of my favourites from the start, you know, he didn't get enough attention. And Moira needs to act her age. She's 28. Stop messing around. You need to have a day off. Right, what's next? Flower, flower, flower. 280. Uh, today's Father's Day. I don't like, I don't really, we don't, our family household doesn't really do much for like Father's Day and Mother's Day. Like, we obviously, I give them presents and I'll spend some time with them, but. I don't really know. What do other people do? Do you spend the whole day together? Because my mate's going for coffee and cake with her fam, which would be quite nice. Like, we'd probably do something like that. But they've gone to London with my family friends, so, you know, didn't even get the chance. Right, sugar, sugar, sugar. Um, oof, I've got that so sellotaped up. So today is two weeks until MAGA. I'm so, so excited. I'm going to do a MAGA vlog. I'm so, so buzzing. You can't wait to get with the girls. Harry's away with boys at the moment. I am very jealous. I want to be out and about. The weather in England at the moment is absolutely atrocious. What does it think it's doing? It's my birthday, like, this week. If it rains on my birthday, I'll actually throw hands about. Won't be a laughing matter. Oh, lovely. Baking powder is half a teaspoon that will be eggs eggs I've got a oh, lovely avocado large free range eggs i don't want to get shells so we're gonna do my mug technique we're gonna go for this one because it explains me you know dos a tres one more oh oh no it's crack. Surely that was already like crack. Quatros. Ooh. People who have raw eggs for breakfast are so weird. Like who eats raw eggs for breakfast? I know it's all to be like protein and healthy and blah, blah, blah. Just have a protein bar or a protein shake. Don't put yourself through that trauma. So I'm just making some coffee. I've made it with two tablespoons of strong coffee granules. Fill the hot water up to 100 milliliters. Teaspoon of vanilla extract. 85 grams of walnut pieces I need to measure out. Two tablespoons roughly chopped and the rest finely. So how do I finely chop walnuts? Peel and reseal. I don't know why that made me so happy. I'm gonna eat one. I wanna see what they're like just on their own. No sugar or anything. 
really weird how the nuts taste different but kind of all taste the same. That smells disgusting. What do I do? What do I do? Set aside one tablespoon <coughs> of the coffee for the filling. Or I'm gonna say that's half. Okay. Whoa, something definitely just broke. There's this one bit of butter that just won't incorporate itself. She's getting there. Woohoo! I need to chop the walnuts. Getting my industrial knife out. Can I just say, Ryanair is a joke. You think it's cheap, then you realise it's because all of the extras cost you a, another like hundred pounds. Like it's probably so much cheaper. Unless you know you don't want bags to actually just go like EasyJet or somewhere else. They've really pumped us off a bit. There's only nine of us going, and then in July there's eleven of us going. To Budapest. I didn't even realise it's like a proper like party place. Like I thought it was going to be doing some sightseeing while we're there, but apparently there's not even that much to see. I didn't realise entry. You had to pay like 35 euros every night for entry into all of the good clubs. That's going to make our, our holiday a little bit more expensive. Like I'm definitely going to have to bring more than 200 euros spending money, which I wasn't planning on because I spent less than that in Zanti. One of the things I really when we went to Zanti, we put we like. Put these boats during the day. I'm so sorry if all you can hear is that must be so annoying. We put these boats during the day and it was honestly one of the best parts. It was anti, like it was so, so fun. Speed boats, that's it. And we all drove it. <laughs> nearly crashed a couple of times. I'm trying to keep my knife on the plate, but they're just like, run away. The only reason I know all this stuff is because I used to be religiously obsessed with MasterChef Australia. Not the normal one, the Australian one. I can confirm 100% MasterChef Australia is so much better than the English version, the American version, the kids version. The celebrity version. MasterChef Australia is the go. I'm definitely going to give the batter a little taste before it goes in. Me and, me and Tasha were saying the other day, there was we were watching Black Mirror. I don't know if anyone's seen Black Mirror, my Miley Cyrus one, and there was that song in it, and it was so catchy. We were saying, what makes you just suddenly burst out into song when you when like you want to just sing a song that's in your head? What makes you do it? It's so weird. Like, what part of your brain is like saying like, oh, sing that song now that you've got in your head? Like, say it out loud. Because you don't just like say stuff that you don't want to say out loud. I mean, some people do, but it's really weird. Let's have a taste of this. Oh, I can confirm that is unreal right now. I need to go wash my hands again. So we're just folding these in now. I've saved aside about two tablespoons of roughly chopped ones to sprinkle over the top. Yeah, let's get you in here. I will link the recipe down below. Oh, there's walnuts on the floor. Let me even her up. Sprinkle. Got the gorgeous cake. 25 to 30 minutes. See you in 25 to 30 minutes. It is in fact the next day because my dad came home. He's actually in the garden, but it's his birthday tomorrow, so like I need to make it. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make the icing and hope it doesn't clock. And then I can kind of try and assemble in my room. So this is gonna be softened, so that might be an issue. I'm just gonna make coffee buttercream. He's gonna let the coffee cool, which is kind of an issue because I don't wanna let the coffee cool. <laughs> We good? We're good. 500 grams of icing sugar. Wow. Oh, okay, let's make some coffee. I'm gonna use the decaffeinated one that my dad has because card order. I... Okay. This is one and a half tablespoons of boiling water. I need 250 grams of butter, so that is the whole. Golly. Here. Urgh. Ice and sugar. Got the trusty scales, obviously. 500 grams of hefty amount. Oh. Vanilla. Right, now it's pretty soft. I'm just going to add this in gradually. Need to keep my spinning. I haven't sifted it, but. Hang on. Just going to add it in quicker, I've decided. <laughs> So we've made the icing. I've added the coffee and vanilla extract. 
Oh, I love coffee buttercream. It's so, so good. good. Right, so we've got the cake. Let's cut her up. Try and keeping it level. She might be ready. She might be ready. Big moment. Et voila. Just. Do it off. Nice. Big hefty serving. Maybe I should have added milk or something. She's a bit um thick, sticky. Do you see the darker patches there? Where all the coffee's gonna go in. We'll just put a little bit more on the ice in here. Put this on top. <laughs> that was really satisfying. And I've got these cute little chocolate beans and the rest of my walnuts. Got my piping bag here. Open my mug. Add the ice in like this and then pull the edges back up oh no stress practice <laughs> exciting happy okay. and i might just do one in the middle oh that's actually so cute let's add some walnuts and coffee beans chocolate coffee beans as well by the way not real ones that would be kind of grim wow i'm actually so proud anyway so thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy the video and if you liked seeing me bake and thought what i baked was kind of nice then please do like and subscribe as well if you're new and i'll see you next week with a new video bye